Um, well, you know. a great question here from my friend, actually, Adi Adegoku, uh, who says, uh, it might be asked before, but as a beginner, what are the things that must be tested? You know, what, when you're looking at this, all this, you know, long methods and so forth, thinking, which bits of this do I really have to test? And my fallback is normally, you know, only test the bits of code you don't want to crash. But if you're sitting there and your manager's <laughs> saying, you've got to ship this thing now, you've got a limited time frame, a week, two weeks, whatever it is to do your testing. If you had to choose, what would you say the priority points are? Yeah, I, again, I go to uh, what is the biggest problem if it breaks? Um, you know, what is, what are, what are some of the pieces that are holding the whole thing together? Mm. Um, test those cause you know, and there, by testing those, you may reveal other pieces that you did not realize were part of the, the, the thing that holds everything together. Uh, and then you should also test those, but it's, it's one of those things where it's just like, you know, if you accidentally pluralize the end of somebody's name wrong, that's not going to like break your application. It's a little embarrassing, but it's not the end of the world. Mm. Um, you know, if you have something where like, uh, if somebody tries to, you know, input, uh, like SQL like commands, it accidentally dumps your whole database. <laughs> That's something that you should probably be aware of. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's, you know, I don't know that you need to necessarily test that just because Apple does a fair amount of sanitization and stuff like that. Um, but you know, there's not really, there's not really a whole lot, um, that can, that can necessarily, uh, be sort of immediately identified outside of the context of what your app is, because the context of what your app is, is really, really important to what do I test? Um, because if, Again, it's like, what are the pieces that are business critical, that are mission critical, that if it breaks, people are coming after you? Those are the things to start with. I think the other thing is just stuff where you're like, I'm not entirely sure how or why this works. <laughs> That's a good thing to <laughs> test <work>. for. <laughs> you know, it's, it's there. I've definitely had the, the sort of like, uh, the, the, the second worst thing in programming is this doesn't work. I don't know why the worst thing is this works. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you know, it's, it's definitely something where, um, if you have code where you're like, this works and I have no idea why write a test for it. So that, uh, if something changes and then it stops working, you can at least sort of maybe start to figure out what happened. Um, and that's, that's definitely something where that's a, that's a place where I would start. You know, I think you can do that with, fairly small units of code pretty easily, but it's definitely something where honestly, a lot of it just takes practice, and, yeah. which is a little bit, it's a little bit of a crappy answer because it's like, where do I start? <laughs> practice, practice, practice. Um, but it's, it's definitely something where, uh, you know, again, the, the more you do it, the more you'll get a sense of what's worth it and what's not. Okay.